Good evening guys, MC Procrastity here for another 2 minute video as part of a 2 minute series. If you don't know what 2 minute series is about, check the video link below and you'll find out all about it. Topic of the day, I'm wearing it. RST Leathers. Let me just come around and show you guys. So, if you've seen one of my other videos, I talk about safety gear, you know, what is the right safety gear to wear, what is, uh, what is more preferable, textiles, leather, what's kind of more practical, what's the preference, you know, like kind of all these things, I'll stick that link in there as well. And one of the things that I was kind of swaying towards was getting full leather, and yeah, in Wellington, the weather can be pretty crap some days, so obviously I have to mitigate against the weather effects, and what I'm going to buy is an oversuit that kind of goes over this, which I've not bought yet. But back to the leathers so let's do a quick walk around so these are the rst evo 3 um obviously pants jacket it comes with a um, c protector in the back however i've got my dual rocket protector on so i pulled the insert out and i will say this is absolutely awesome so you can see that it's got the um, Kevlar reinforced stretchy piece in the middle. I'm not exactly sure what you would call that. And then the leather on the outers. Um, so it gives a huge amount of flexibility. So it's just really, really comfy. So when I'm on the bike, I don't feel like I'm restricted in any way. I actually feel that I'm, I'm one, I'm, I feel that I'm safe, which isn't always a good thing, but I do feel well protected. Um, I feel that I have plenty of room, plenty of maneuverability, um, leaning over, leaning to the side, and just shuffling around on the bike as you go around the bend and stuff, it just feels really, really nice. Only thing I probably don't like is this here. I certainly can't do this up because it feels like it's, it's choking me in my windpipe, um, but that's fine, that's not a problem. Um, sizing is probably, like if you, anybody out there is looking at the RST brand, which are a UK brand, um, definitely, definitely a premium brand. Um, they are um, definitely probably undersized. Said a lot, oh, I said the word definitely there. I'd probably say they're undersized. So I'm like a four, somewhere between a 44 and a 46 inch chest on most things. Oh, hey buddy. Oh, just there we go. Come and crash the video. I'm talking, mate. You'll have to give me a minute. So um, they're definitely undersized, okay? So this is a 50 inch chest. And I would probably say one of my limitations, I do have quite long arms. So one of the things that I found on the smaller sizes when I tried them on is that it cuts into the arms quite tight. Now you can see that it is reasonably tight around there, but it's stretchy, so it gives me plenty of maneuverability. Uh, but more importantly, I have room to put my back protector in and I have plenty of, I, I'd probably say plenty of room, I have uh, room within my um, chest there. So um, yeah, I've got plenty of flexibility, I think, and plenty of maneuverability uh, and enough room to feel very comfortable in these leathers. The only other thing I would probably say is when I got these, the, the weather has just changed here. Pretty much we've just, we've just spun into all, well, we're actually just about to spin into summer at the moment, we're in late spring. And um, I would probably say that going back a couple of weeks ago, the weather was like really, really cold in the morning. There has been a couple of really cold, chilly mornings. So even though it does have an additional liner inside, which I'll actually show you, uh, that's the liner there, so I've got to hold my microphone because it's going to fall down otherwise. Um, yeah, you definitely feel like it's vented really well. Okay, so that's brilliant for summer. Like, honestly, on a nice, it's a lovely, you can't see it, but it's a really beautiful day today. Not as hot as some of the temperatures can get in summertime, but you feel the breeze slip through your arms. Just in all the right places, you just feel cool, right? You feel, I, it's actually... You feel brilliant. It feels like the perfect temperature, okay? Even when you're walking around in them, they feel nice, comfy, easy to walk in, and temperature feels good as well. There's a couple of mornings I'll do training before I go into work. So I go in, I have a shower, I put all my gear on, get a little bit hot. The minute that I go on the bike, there's enough cool air coming through the leathers just to keep me cool. However, right, certainly um, popping back to the early mornings where they're really quite fresh, moving into winter time yeah that's going to be a significant problem so how i'm going to get around that and um, i'll probably wear a pair of track pants underneath this just to keep the chill off the legs and i could probably put a jumper or even two jumpers underneath this just to keep the the warmth in i think overall i'd much rather do this have leathers because i really feel that leathers just offer the best when it comes to protection but 
they just feel great. They keep the wind off you. And when I say the wind off you, they just keep you more streamlined. Textiles feel that you catch the wind a lot more and you get a lot of wind buffet in. Um, so these leathers, I was really, really lucky. I got them off a guy. He come from the, um, he bought them from the UK uh, with the intent to use them. He used them twice, still had the labels on them. Uh, but unfortunately, he had another bike project need to get finished off. He had a second pair of leathers. He raised the money this way and I just got lucky everything fitted me. So I'm really really happy it just goes to show that if you sit back and you just keep watching, keep looking, you're aware of what's going on in the market, um, you know like sort of trade me, eBay, whatever it might be, and you sit and you wait it out, that moment will come where you will find the thing that you're looking for and you will be able to get a really good buy. Now there's obviously certain things that you perhaps would buy second hand, but, you know, for me, I'm really, really happy. I've got an exceptional pair of leathers, completely unmarked, and they fit me perfectly. And I honestly, I, I am so over the moon. So guys, what kind of things have you managed to get that have been on a really, really great deal that you've been really happy with and you've made such a difference to your bike? So for now, MC Crash Bender out.